In this video, I'm going to go over how to disassemble and then reassemble the uh, Aya Vagamoto prop here. So in front of me, I've got the Aya Vagamoto. This is the final revision. Uh, the only difference between the finished painted one and this one is the paint job. And this one is currently missing the aesthetic covers, um, which are not needed for any of the actual function. Um, I'm keeping this one for myself to you know, wear and display in my house. This one is the one that I've been doing all the development work with. So I'm gonna use this one. Um, the shafts here are much longer. In the kind of final version, obviously I'll s either in the kits, I'll send the correct length shafts or I will just specify what the correct length is. But these are just development shafts. I think those are the only two differences between them. So to take it apart, uh, there are some screws here. These two covers are different. I'm going to keep them over here. This one has three holes. This one has four. Um, these rings all just pop off. So the way these work, it's just, you know, uh, they don't snap together or anything. They just sit on top of each other. This here is an aesthetic cover. It just, it pops off. There are some snap fits on it. You line it up with the flats and it snaps on like that. That's an aesthetic piece. These two on these being the gears these two gears on this side just pop off so this is a uh i don't know long with a flat on top and this one's just a very stubby little spur gear go there pull these shafts i'm just gonna pull all of the shafts out um if you orient it like this which is the way that i designed it having these lips or the uh, little eyelet ear things up top this gear here pulls out from the top. Um, this one needs to come out from the bottom. It hopefully will make more sense in a few seconds. Well anticipated. You can see here actually how the eye works. So I have two little nubs there. When you turn this, those kind of get pulled and retracted into um, ramps. Continue to pull out these shafts. Maybe I can do it on camera. Let's see. Yeah, perfect. So that was it. There are two little shafts that go into. Uh, I don't know if it's visible, but two little uh, shafts which retain the eyelids themselves. And then there is this main plate, just for completeness, I guess. Ring gear, or like large gear. There's a small washer. This is likely going to change shape. It's, it's just going to be bigger in the future, um, but it'll it'll still be called washer. And then main plate, and uh, I guess you know I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be calling these parts in the files yet. Right now, it's just like part one, part two. Uh, my file naming system is very informal. So this is the assembly, entirely disassembled. Um, the only other component that I think is missing is in the back. There is an aesthetic component, which is uh, the iris. So it's, it's kind of the uh, texture that you see in the back there. That's just a 3D printed part. Um, it's basically a giant washer with some cutouts. That would go in first. So that would you know, goes in and gets painted and printed, or printed, painted, and then glued. For this assembly is you would install the iris that we discussed so this is just a flat 3d printed part goes in here painted and glued this part which has the ramp in it gets inserted it'll be a relatively tight fit throughout the process just make sure that everything spins flip it over you want to install the washer 
and then install the giant gear and look for things to line up. When you install these, um, check for, especially things that are screwed together, check that you're not adding too much friction. So like this, I'm tightening these down a little bit. If I really crank down on them, it's gonna get difficult to spin this, which is not what I want. So you want the flats kind of uh, in the left right direction that is it is symmetrical kind of in 180 degrees but you want it left right and this is where you can bring these two together so I guess to orient this the side with more uh, shaft bosses is the side that goes to the right um, so that ears go up shaft bosses are on the right These are, it uh, doesn't really matter which way they go in. Like one of them is, goes on the outside, one goes on the inside. What does matter is that these pegs are facing outward. I pick them up, they move together. So I'm kind of managing less parts with my hands. Yeah, this, this should work. And I'm trying to get here is this to be in its kind of open position. Um, you can always do it in the closed position. So let's say that is there. But in order to get the shafts in, it needs to be open. So it might be easier to now force it open. Yeah, there we go. So see how those are kind of roughly in place? And now what I'm gonna do is take a pair of pliers. And All right, I started editing the assembly video and realized I did a terrible job of filming this. So I'm gonna just insert this kind of post, uh, you know, post initial filming. In this part of the video, what I'm trying to do is essentially right here, there is a hole on both sides, and that is what the uh, eyelids actually hinge on. So really, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. All I'm doing in this section of the video is grabbing it with a pair of pliers, and then gently jamming it in there. So you can see I've placed it, there's a, a small segment of filament there which is going to act as a shaft and I just come in with like a screwdriver or something tap it into place and that's really it um, you do that twice there's one on this side one on this side and that is what this eyeball uh, or eyelid ends up rotating on sorry if I didn't get that fully in view but these are together now so it check to make sure it opens and closes, but that's it. All right. Now, there are a few different gears that go on the right side and a few different gears that go on the left. I'm going to start with the right because it is the more complicated one. There is this funny looking one, which has a very tiny gear and a very big gear. There is this one, which is a compound gear. So it's got a tiny and a big, but they're not separated by a long stem. There's this one, which is a bigger gear and a smaller gear, but the stem is bigger and the gear ratios are closer together and then there's this just normal kind of transfer gear so this is the positions that they go in there are you know four holes so hole one goes here hole two goes there hole three goes to this one hole four goes to this one this one is the only one that needs to be inserted from the bottom so I'm going to do that first uh, and it's going to feel like there is interference there is not just keep at it <laughs> It's a bit of a, a wiggling game. Um, so what I just did there is I released the edge to give myself just a little bit more room. We're in the home stretch now. You can start kind of tightening things down there. 
this gear goes tiny gear down next to that one and you're you're trying to line it up with this small hole so what I can do here is jam that in all these have all their tolerances and stuff built in so pretty much if they're in in position they should be good They really only tighten up once the um, covers are in. That guy fell out, not a big deal. That goes in. This one goes in like this. So for this one, bigger gear goes on top. And then for this one, the gear face goes down. And I'll, you'll see this kind of in the CAD when I do the CAD walkthrough. But a lot of these you can just hold the gear with your finger and kind of land it. Like everything, just make sure everything is spinning while you're doing it. This one is much simpler. Um, I have two bosses here. I usually just use one gear because it's less friction. Put the shafts in. The thin gear needs to go first. Goes down like that. And then the tall gear goes like this. That's the full gear assembly, believe it or not. So let's just tighten these up. Before we put the rings on, you want to snap this guy on. It really just snaps on. So everything's still working. <laughs> This, this looking one goes on the bottom, followed by this looking one. I don't have any good terminology for this. Followed by this one, followed by this one. Just loosely kind of in this orientation. Um, and then this, that would be the starting position. So make sure you, you turn it to start. So wind up like that. This guy pops on. This is the one with three holes. You just kind of line it up, slide it on. This is one with four holes. You can line it up, slide it on. I'm realizing on this model, I'm missing these wings just pop off. So you would, you know, obviously connect a rope or something to that. You can use the those to hide the lanyard so these would snap on like this and they, they free move a little bit just to have some degrees of freedom uh, if it takes a bump and then these shafts would be shorter and you would just pop on some painted aesthetic covers and you'd be done but this is the I have a Agamotto assembly so I can see I've added some friction there by accident so I'll just back off a little bit on these But yeah, that's it. That is the assembly. Thanks for watching. See you next time.